for the latest edition looking at BCC's alumni in your community. Hi, I'm Kathy Torpy Garganter and I'm the proud graduate of Bristol Community College, class of 1973 in dental hygiene. I grew up in Somerset, Massachusetts and I've been very fortunate to have fabulous parents. Um, my, d my dad worked for the Four River Line Pier and actually brought the Battleship Massachusetts to the Four River area and always volunteered whether it was at Charlton Memorial or JC's but he was always an active volunteer which led me into volunteerism. My mom worked for the telephone company and she was the first female to be a central office repair person so she also gave me the motivation and the work ethic that I needed to be able to survive in dental hygiene which was a very competitive program at Bristol Community College. I have a sister Jean and Chris and I also have a brother Scott. I'm married to Kevin Garganta who is also from Somerset and he is the director of the Human Service Program at Bristol Community College. However we did meet 36 years we've been married and we are high school sweethearts. So we go back um, a long way but are both very interested in education and have ended up at Bristol Community College. I actually fell in love with dental hygiene by and always wanted to be uh, a dental hygienist since I was very young, probably around 13, the time that you get your braces. And I just love the dental assistant in the orthodontist office and I wanted to grow up to be just like her and she said, no, you want to be a hygienist. And I said, okay. And then I learned about hygiene and um, that was my life's goal and she was absolutely right. Hygiene, teeth on me. I actually am in the third graduating class of the dental hygiene program so it was brand new and when we started to research where could I go to school to be a hygienist BCC had just started their program so I was in the right place at the right time and was able to get into the the program very gratefully but it's a very close-knit class because it's such a competitive program that we all had to stick together in order to uh, be able to succeed together and we were fortunate enough to have fabulous instructors and we all passed our dental hygiene boards which allowed all of us to just have fabulous lives. After I left BCC I transferred immediately to UMass Amherst and uh, I had to work with them a bit so that they could accept their credits because no one was accustomed to having a person come from an associate's degree in dental hygiene and go on. There were very few people with baccalaureate degrees and there was almost no one with a master's degree. And so at that time I was a little um, odd for them to deal with. But I did end up in this wonderful program called Bachelor's Degree of Independent Concentration which allowed me to really uh, create my own major which I did and called Community Dental Health Education. That allowed me also to take courses to be able to come certified for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts as a secondary health teacher. And I did my student um, teaching in health in Northampton, and it was really a great experience. Kevin and I were married in our senior year of college, and um, then we were fortunate enough to work in Boston for a few years where I was able to get a job at Middlesex Community College and when I was hired there right after uh, UMass Amherst I then realized I needed to have a master's if I was going to teach college I had to have a master's and I enrolled at Boston University Graduate School of Dentistry in their Masters of Dental Public Health program and I graduated from there in uh, 1980 and right after that I, Kevin and I moved back to Somerset right after the blizzard, the blizzard did me in and I left teaching at Middlesex and took, went into private practice for nearly a decade before I could get a teaching position at Bristol Community College. I love teaching dental hygiene. It is, um, and I love giving back. I love being able to share dentistry that I loved so much and I always maintained dental hygiene practice so I always worked a half a day a week so that I would have fresh stories for the students. I taught 
things like uh, dental anatomy and medical emergencies and by working still in private practice a few hours a week I could come back the next day and talk about the patient who fainted or the person who had the complicated medical history and I always had fresh new stories so I loved combining the actual practice of dental hygiene with being able to be the teacher of dental hygiene. In 1982 I opened up a uh, small business which was as a professional speaker and consultant and being able to be a, a faculty member allowed me to do a few lectures and seminars during the academic year and as a professional speaker I began in dental hygiene, began doing continuing education courses for dental hygienists. Then because of that I evolved to do a lot of writing. I've published eight articles in professional journals and um, in both dental hygiene and radiology. I have spoken to groups as small as three and as large as 3,000 as the keynote speaker for the uh, American Orthodontic Association. I've traveled all over the United States and Canada as a professional speaker, but it all kept me on the cutting edge of dental hygiene. Because of that, um, I got involved as uh, President Sprager's second person to be asked to do the Presidential Fellowship Program, where I designed a specialty program for our students that's still in existence now, and uh, Eileen Shea um, is the director of that program and it's called Presidential Scholars and it's for gifted students to be able to get involved in more things at the college so that their portfolio becomes very attractive to competitive colleges or competitive programs in state colleges. And from that um, the president asked me if I would come to Attleboro and uh, actually Executive Vice President Dave Feeney asked if I would start a program here in Attleboro that they had a wonderful opportunity to go into the former Attleboro High School and I promised to do that as long as it was for a year because a lot of what I do is program planning and I like to do any kind of projects um, very project based and they knew that so from that I said I'd stay a year and right at the end of the year I was all packed and ready to go and uh, ready to move out when we had an opportunity to rent this building here at uh, Texas Instrument had been sold and the new owners wanted to rent this particular building to BCC so the president asked if I would stay on and I agreed to stay for a couple more years and here I am six years later and uh, fortunately we were able to purchase the building we began at, in Attleboro taking their evening satellite program of just under 50 people and we expanded that to a full day program at the uh, old, uh, or I should say the former Attleboro High School. And we began with just under 300 students and today, six years later, we have 1,300 students. The BCC education was really the foundation of everything because not only was I coming out of BCC with an associate's degree, I was coming out as a professional. And so my whole confidence level I knew that from that moment on I could support myself. I never needed anyone else but I could take care of myself and if I had children I could take care of them. I could um, really function in society. I would always have a way to be able to make a living. I've had a wonderful life and I have a great family who are very supportive and a husband that you know allows me to grow and working together as a team you know, BCC is really now has an impact on our day-to-day -day lives.